Hello, and welcome to an all-new listener mailbag. I am, as always, Steven, today. Talking about future state Harley Quinn. Number one. I love this cover. This cover is amazing. Um, I'm not sure who did it. Let's give it a look, see. Um, anyway, this story is part of the future state thing DC is doing. Came out uh, beginning of February. So a couple of weeks ago. Last week. Something like that. Um, Chew. Did the cover. Thought it looked familiar. I'm really starting to like Chew's covers. Uh, we started collecting the ones he did for dynamite but I digress um this is like an aftermath of the death metal storyline which I still have not read I have them all I just haven't read them yet and um it's about like this timeline or multiverse that exists because death metal did something. Anyway, Harley Quinn. She gets caught by um, Jonathan Crane, formerly the Scarecrow, who uh, interrogates her and asks, well, doesn't really ask since she's in a cell, for her help to get some of Gotham's bad guys in exchange for small favors and um, she uh, does reluctantly at first uh, he kind of berates her makes fun of her tells her she's nothing without the Joker um, until she's like you know what she starts giving him uh, the answers on how to catch the people, uh, like Professor Pig, uh, who's the other one? Fire somebody, um, and then it hints that the next person in issue two, because there's only issues, two issues from this. Um, I don't have issue 2 yet, so, I'm just assuming that issue 2 has them trying to capture the black mask. Um, this takes place in a Gotham City where, like, the head of Gotham City is called the Magistrate, and he's outlawed masks and stuff. So Jonathan Green no longer wears a scarecrow mask. He's a good guy. Uh, and that's about it. The art work looks good. I especially love the cover. I'm digging Chew's covers. Um, we'll be getting quite a few of those coming out. Uh, he's been doing covers for Sacred Six. Um... And another dynamite line. Um, but overall, the story's okay. It's a nice beginning. I mean, it's not going to delve too deeply or um, do something that's going to be able to cover more than two issues. Just because it's only a short run. I think all the comics they do for Future State are only like two issues. So it's pr pretty much just an introduction to the characters. Um, I'm not quite sure if they're going to continue on with any of these characters. Um, but yeah, overall, decent book. I recommend it. 
So I got two Govers. I have the other one, but I'm not sure where it is right now. Um, but definitely pick it up if they still have it at your local comic show. I think you won't be sorry. I don't. I wonder. I haven't read them, and if anybody out there has read any of the other Future Straight, Future State. Uh, lines. How does this uh, tie into like the Batman covers or the Nightwing? I'm curious. Um, I don't have any of the Batman ones. I think I got Supergirl and the Flash. I don't know if any of them tie in. But if anybody out there knows, let me know. I'm curious. Like, should I buy the Batman ones? So yeah. Overall, decent comic. I recommend it. Uh, it's only two issues. So to get the complete run is like eight bucks. Um, yeah, so with that, I bid thee a fond farewell. Until next time, I'll see you later.